Today, I have the pleasure to talk with Paz del Care, a young filmmaker from Spain, whose film Same is competing in the European section of the Camera Zizania. Hello, Paz. Hello, how are you? Fine. So, what inspired you to make this film? And why do you want to raise such a serious problem like the child abuse by Catholics in school? So, my father has always talked to me, but all these terrible stories about his childhood, where priests would be so mean and beat them for anything. And that really made me think like that was awful. And then I saw this documentary on Netflix that talked about sexual abuse. And that was shocking because there I learned that 8% of priests have sexually abused children. And then I wanted to help victims to speak out, speak up and try to solve this problem, which has been hidden for too long. Oh, yes, I understand. And next question. You know the attitude of the Catholic Church in your country. Why do you think this is happening? Who and how could solve this problem? So. Honestly, I have no idea why they're hiding this problem, because we already know this happened and they have to face it in order to improve their image. Um, I think who could actually help to solve these problems are Catholics, like they should work to have a good community. So saying, OK, we did wrong, but now we're trying to do right. I think that's the right thing to do. Uh, so everyone should speak up and say that, oh, we know about this problem, so let's try to solve it. It's obviously on church's hand to do this, but people should move and talk about it. Yes, yes, that's true. Uh, do you want to be a professional filmmaker in the future? Well, that's the plan. <laughs> I would love that. I'm still learning. I, I discovered animation maybe too late, but I, I don't think it's like never it's too late. So yeah, that's my plan. I would, I would really love that. Okay. And what's your opinion about digital festivals this year with pandemic? So I think that trying to make it work, which I appreciate, it's better than, you know, just closing everything. But I miss the, you know, meeting people because I think that's the, the, the part I like the most about this festival is meeting people, talking, discovering new animators or anything. And yeah, that's a shame that we lost that. But I appreciate the effort. I think it's a good thing that we can still share our creations and, you know, do these thanks to these kind of platforms, which are like very useful. So I'm grateful for them to try to make it online. Oh, yes. So do you believe that the main purpose of the festival, of the film festivals aren't only to provide your film, but uh, to meet new people, to meet new cultures? Yeah, of course. I think that's the main like purpose or goal or what I think it's the the part of the festival that makes me feel better or makes me more excited about it is, yeah, meeting new people, meeting new cultures, discovering new things. I think that's the best, yeah. Oh, yes, I agree with you. So this is our last question. Uh, this is your first time that you take part in the Camer Zizanio, and how did you learn about it? So yes, this is my first time in this festival. And I learned about it uh, through Film Freeway, which is a platform for movie makers to find festivals. 
and I thought it looked very interesting. I like the children thing that only young artists could participate, not only like the professionals. So yeah, that's how. Okay, thank you very much for the interview. I wish you the best and good luck to your film in the competition part. Thank you very much. <laughs> Δεν θα το κάνεις καν μοντάζ, το ξέρεις. Ναι.